Hello and welcome to Enabling Accessibility Tutorials. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notified about our videos. In the previous video, we have shown you how to configure settings in Gmail. And in this video, we are going to show you how to configure Outlook with your Gmail account. First, to get started, we have to open Outlook. You can do this by going to the Run dialog box by pressing Windows R and typing Outlook, then pressing Enter. Or else, you can go from the Start menu search box by pressing Outlook and Enter. See here. Search box edit type and text period. O menu T L O O K Microsoft Office Outlook 2007 comma Enter. Outlook 2007 Startup Dialog Outlook 2007 Startup Welcome to the Outlook 2007 Startup Wizard comma which will guide you through the process of configuring Outlook 2007 period. Next greater button to act. Here, when we pressed enter, the Outlook 2007 startup wizard is displayed. A wizard is something that will guide a user to complete complex procedure by giving step-by-step -step instructions. So here we are being helped by the wizard and in the welcome page we have next button so to proceed we can press spacebar on the next button. Space account configuration dialog. You can configure Outlook to connect to internet email, comma, Microsoft Exchange, comma, or other email server period. Would you like to configure an email account question? Yes, radio button checked. One of two. Here, in the second step, we are directed to the email accounts configuration confirmation page. Here, we are asked whether we want to configure our email to radio buttons are given here yes and no it is already focused on the yes button so we can directly press enter or go to next button by pressing tab enter at the email account dialog your name colon in the third step we are directed to the auto account setup page we can enter our details if we have my, uh, Microsoft account or Outlook account but as we are going to configure our Gmail so we don't have to enter any details here but we have to uh, make some manual settings so I'm pressing tab tab email address colon edit type a text the tab password colon pass tab retype password tab manually configure server settings or additional server types checkbox not checked we have to check this box as it says manually configure server settings or additional settings. By pressing space we can check this box space checked. and we have to go to the next button and press space bar on this. Space internet email radio button checked. In the next step we are guided to the choose email service. Here we are left with three options internet email microsoft exchange or other as we are configuring gmail and it is an internet email we can just press enter or just go on to next button enter user information your name call and edit in the next step we are guided to the internet email settings and here we have to enter our details very carefully we have to enter our user information that is your name and email address and the server information that is account type incoming server and outgoing mail server and also logon information that is username and password firstly our cursor is in your name edit box so here i'm typing my name and pressing tab here we have to type our email address and 
I have typed my email address enabling accessibility at gmail.com and now I am going to the server information. Here we are asked to choose account type. There are two account types. One is POP3 and IMAP. Here I am selecting POP3 and going to the next but in the next video when I configure Outlook with Office 10 I will show you how to configure with IMAP but here I am just doing with POP3. I am just pressing tab here. Tab, incoming mail server, colon, edit, type of text, period. We are asked to enter incoming mail server and here we have to type pop.gmail.com and after entering, entering pop.gmail.com I'm pressing tab now it prompts us to enter outgoing mail server here we, we have to type smtp.gmail.com Now I am pressing tab here and going to the logon information. Now it will ask you for the username. When it asks, asks you for username, you can just enter your username without domain address. For example, here enabling accessibility at gmail.com is our email ID, but at gmail.com is not necessary to enter. Here it is already written enabling accessibility, but we have to make sure whether it is correct or not. Now I'm pressing tab to enter my password. Tab, password, colon, password, edit, type of text, period, all star, 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 star. I have entered my password and pressing tab again. Star, 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 tab, remember password, checkbox checked. We have to keep this remember password checkbox checked always. Pressing tab again. Tab, require logon using secure password authentication left parents bar right. We have to always keep this checkbox checked also. Space checked. I am pressing space bar to check it and I have done it. Now I am going to, going to the next option by pressing tab. But here in the next option we have test settings. But before doing the test we have to configure some more settings. I will show you how. We are not going to do this now and just pressing tab again to get more settings. Tab, more settings dot, 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 button, Here we heard more settings dot dot dot. We have to press space bar here to get the additional settings done. Space, internet email settings dialog, general page, mail account, internet email settings dialog, general page. Now a dialog box appears on the screen. In this dialog box we have different tabs. We call tabs when there are multiple pages. So uh, to navigate between these tabs we can press control tab. We have to go to the outgoing server tab. Outgoing server page. My outgoing server left parent SMTP right parent requires authentication checkbox not checked. We have to check this box and just proceed to the advanced tab by pressing control tab. Space checked. Connection page. Sp advanced page. Server port numbers. Incoming server left parent pop three right parent colon edit 110 type of text period alt plus I. Under the advanced tab we have to enter server port numbers for the incoming server our gmail server port number is 995995 i am entering here 995 and pressing tab 
Again pressing tab. This server requires an encrypted connection. Left parent SSL, right parent check. We have to check this box to enable SSL encryption. So I'm pressing space bar on it. Server port number will be entered in the next step. Space checked. Tab. Outgoing server left parent SMTP right parent colon edit 25. Type a text period. Here it is. It asked for outgoing server port number. And the outgoing server port number for Gmail is 465. 465. Pressing tab again. 465. Tab. Use the following type of encrypted connection. Colon edit combo none to set the value used. Encryption type is selected as none here, but we have to change it to SSL again. SSL. I have changed to SSL and then going to the OK button. Tab. Server timeout select tab. Leave a copy of tab. OK button to activate. Press space bar space. Add new email account dialog. User. After this is done, our cursor will be focused on the next button. But to test the settings whether they are done correctly or not, we have to come back to the previous options by pressing shift tab to the test settings button and press space bar. Shift tab, less back to shift tab, more settings dot 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 shift tab, test account settings dot 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 button. Now it prompted test account settings and pressing space bar on it. Space test account settings dialog, stop button to activate, press space bar period, alt plus s. Close button to activate, press space bar period, alt plus c. A dialog box will appear and test the settings whether Outlook is configured correctly or not. If you get some errors, you have to read the errors and make sure all the information is corrected again. Here, the cursor is directly focused on the close button as there is no errors occurred. But for confirmation, I am pressing tab to check whether all the process is done or not. Tab, list view, not selected, log on to incoming mail, log on to incoming mail, server left parent, pop three right parent, completed. Log on is completed. Send test email message completed. S sending test email message completed. So now I'm going back to close button and pressing space bar. Shift tab, close button to activate, press space bar, space, add new email account dialog. Now the account testing is completed and we can go to the next button and press space bar to proceed to the next step. Tab, more settings, tab, less back button, tab, next greater button to active space, congratulations, exclaim, you have successfully entered all the information required to set up your account, period, to close the wizard, comma, click finish, period. And finally, our configuration wizard says, congratulations, you have successfully given all the information. To complete this wizard, you have to press finish. Thanks for watching the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get more videos. Please give your feedback and suggestions in the comments box below or write to us at enablingaccessibility at gmail.com enabling -E at gmail.com